After 26 years, Jacob Wetterling's disappearance remains a mystery. But there have been new developments in the past week, and today the Wetterling's parents are planning to share their reaction to those possible breakthroughs. Authorities made the stunning announcement last week that Danny Heinrich was a person of interest in Jacob's disappearance. Investigators believe Wetterling's kidnapping is possibly connected to eight unsolved attacks on boys in the late 1980s. They say new DNA testing connected Danny Heinrich to the eight 1989 kidnapping and assault of a Cold Spring boy named Jared Shy Earl. Shy Earl said yesterday, I got my answer. The best thing that could happen is that we get a confession to all wrongdoing by Wednesday. Heinrich's next court appearance is tomorrow. WCCO plans to be in St. Joseph this afternoon to hear what the Wetterlings have to say at their home. You can watch that right here live or on WCCO.com starting at 1215. Police in New Brighton are are working to identify a body found in Rush Lake. A kayaker spotted that body yesterday afternoon. Police say they do not have any information about the victim or how long the body has been there. A group helping in the search for a missing Moundsview man says the body was found near an area they've been searching for Henry McCabe, but no positive confirmation yet if that is in fact who police have found. The Bureau of Criminal Apprehension continues to look into an officer-involved shooting west of the Twin Cities. The medical examiner's office has now released the name of the man killed. 49-year-old Laverne Christensen died from a gunshot wound. According to a neighbor, Christensen asked him to call police around 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Christensen told him there was a warrant out for his arrest and he wanted to explain why it wasn't fair. When police arrived, there was some sort of a struggle. Both Christensen and an officer were shot. The officer is expected to be okay. There will be a vigil today for a little boy killed while trick-or-treating. A car hit five-year-old Victor Laureano Oriza as he crossed the street at Memorial Parkway in Knox Avenue Saturday night. It was the first time his family had gone trick-or-treating. You see him in his costume there in that graphic. Witnesses tried to rescue Victor after he got pinned, lifting the car and pulling him out from underneath. He later died at the hospital. Investigators say the driver is cooperating with police. They don't think alcohol is a factor. The vigil is at 6 o'clock tonight, right at the site of that crash.